How's it going guys? Welcome back to Heartbound. We just made it upstairs within the the office area here, the Tower Corp. There we go. That wasn't so bad, right? I guess. Gave me a minute to clear my head. Good. Now it's time for the real work. I like the scrawling text sound for Joe. It, it's like a rattling bones or something. So everything I just did wasn't real work? Nope. <laughs> anyway, time to pay up on that favor. <sighs> Fine. Good. Now let's get you a hat. Oh, ooh, nice hat. I thought it was going to be like um, like a floaty, jumpy hat, kind of like he has there, but I'm okay with having a cool like lumberjack hat. This is ridiculous. You're ridiculous. <laughs> now that you look the part, I need you to do a little snooping around for me. I look the part? <laughs> What part is it? A manager? Is this a managerial hat? What should I be looking for exactly? The boss. Wait, what? Look around. Let me know what you find. Alright, I can do that. Knew I could count on you, in turn. Now and again I've become re-aware of his shifty eyes and I get wigged out again. An ambiguous job with unknown pay that could get me killed. Just what I always wanted. <laughs> you really set your goals high. Ooh, are there no patrol drones up here? Look how big everyone's desks are. They got kick-ass desks around here. Ah, uh, yeah, I should probably drop a quick save. I have not had the opportunity for that in a while. Another out-of-place tome. The nearby plant doesn't seem to mind. Record the journey so far? Yes, please. And your progress has been saved. The couch looks incredibly comfy. Nobody will notice if I take a nap, right? I don't mind sleeping on the job. Seems like not a real concern. Hey, our, where the pile of socks used to be is now, now a nice pile of ducks. Speaking of which, I haven't found a sock in a while. We got our nice hat hung up on the wall. Uh, a sticky note, the one that we had like slapped onto our face. We're really fleshing things out around here, aren't we? I wasn't expecting to find so much additional stuff for the room within one chapter. Like, across the five chapters, this place is going to be overflowing. There's going to be so much going on in here. We got our cool new hat on, advanced our way up to, I guess this would be the, the second floor. Pretty cool managerial things lying in wait for us. Got to do a, a thorough inspection of everyone's desks now. It's a shallow vera. They make rude comments when you're not looking. Joke on aloe vera plants, although this one is apparently very judgmental. I thought it was going to be a joke about it being short or something. I prefer. I prefer the joke that it did end up being. It's a book of bank transfer statements. All of his money is going to an off-tower account. Uh, I can't sneak... P Ooh, I can kind of sneak past him. Documents detailing some kind of holding company. It seems pretty complicated. One day I'll leave this place. Not today, but one day. Well, I'm rooting for you, dude. Ooh, it's kind of interesting to line yourself up behind one of these guys and, you know, well, one, I get to pretend that I have a bow tie, but the main thing is that I get to look through his face like it's some sort of cool spy glass or something like that. Ooh, this guy's got a, a nice little bean farm or something. Each of the sprouts has a name tag. All the name tags say, my son. Well, that's going to be awful confusing. You probably should have put a little bit more variety into your name choices. It's a mean old cactus. It's even got a beard. Ah, uh, there, uh, some sort of old man cactus joke? That's gotta be a reference in some way. I feel like I'm just missing it. Sealed up with vines. No way you're getting this open. Technology is destroying the natural world. We need to preserve the planet to survive. Well, I gotta tell you, you really ended up in the wrong line of work then. You happen to be in a company that seems very technologically minded. Blueprints for some kind of sideways elevator. That seems efficient. It also seems like it's already happened. <laughs> it's, uh, provenly efficient. Applications for time off, all of them have been denied. Well, at least the process of filling out the application maybe felt a little bit like a break. It's full of scrapped engineering ideas. They're all stamped with maroon. Curious what that could mean. They're just rather than being stamped with red. And it's just kind of a joke because the only color in this world is red. 
everything just has to exist as different shades of red. I like living on the edge. Well, you're very lucky then. Your your desk is apparently on the edge of time and space. That's why I keep getting that's why I keep my drink on the edge of my desk. Thrilling. I actually did notice that that was a really weird drink placement, but I wasn't really it didn't occur to me enough to really draw particular attention to it. Man, 360 screen setup. This guy's efficient as all hell, isn't he? Copy that, Floppy? I will say yes, even though I don't know what I'm going to copy it onto. You didn't copy that, Floppy. You stole it instead. You stole that, Floppy. Uh, hopefully that guy doesn't need that at all. Hopefully he doesn't come looking. Uh, best to ask forgiveness? It's full of pocket protectors. What a nerd. Yeah, he probably didn't need that then. Wait a second. I can see through their faces, like, through the front like this, but when I see them from behind, I see no holes in their head. It's very peculiar, actually. Technology is the only way forward. Without research, we will never save the planet. Oh. Kind of interesting that they paired you up right next to the guy who is, who's entirely environmentally focused. That's kind of neat. He's got all the plants all over his desk and just his standard computer for his basic needs and then this guy had no plans whatsoever computers blowing out the wazoo a hastily written recipe for schmarmalade hmm I do like marmalade I am quite opinionless on schmarmalade I've, I've never never formed a strong opinion one way or the other this plant looks pretty smarmy it's just oozing with smarm Ah, uh, now I see. This is kind of this guy's thing, hey? It's full of jars labeled test batch. Ooh, I'd like to test some... some smarmalade samples. They all doubt my beloved smarmalade. The natural sock flavor is the best. Fools! Yet more sock references. Hmm. Makes me semi-suspicious that there's like some sort of smarmy sock to collect here. Ooh, that guy, I'm, I'm curious about the post-it notes. I'm also curious about all of the lunch leading into that guy's room. It's a very fascinating room over there. <laughs> Looking forward to investigating that one, I guess. Crisp and clean new work. The pages even squeak when you move them. Squeaky clean, good for you. Every page is signed, neat us freakily. Weird. I guess this guy is just a neat freak and he has a stack of papers that are, are labeled as such. He, he happened, maybe he changed his name, maybe his, he naturally is named Neat Freak. Pens on the left, papers on the right, just nice and organized. The guy next to me is a total scum bum. It's Barf City. Okay, so we have the environmental and technological guy next to each, each other, the tidy guy and the messy guy next to each other. This guy's gonna be, he's all smarmy, so this guy's probably gonna be like extra, extra nice. What was the deal these guys had? This guy likes living on the edge, so what was the other guy's deal? Was he all about playing it safe, maybe? One day I'll leave this place. Not today, but one day. Hmm. So, not not entirely. It didn't entirely connect in that instance, but a lot of the other ones seem to, to be related. Let's see what this guy this guy's deal is. 47 issues of Stapler Monthly. Every page has a seductively posed stapler on it. I'm curious what poses are possible for staplers. It's either like open or shut. That's about it. A bunch of crude drawings of staplers. Dude, I, I'm starting to get a little worried about this obsession. I think you need to talk to someone. It's full of replacement staple bricks. Is that what the hell those little glued together rows of stapler recharges are called? I had no idea. The only thing I really have is my beautiful red stapler. Everything else is the company's, perhaps? Man, it sucks to be the only one with the stapler. People are probably asking this guy to borrow it all the time. All of these sandwiches seem oddly fresh. That was my main concern. I was worried they were nasty as hell. This is way too many energy drinks. I don't know. It depends. Have you ever worked in an office setting before? It's not that uncommon. That one, kind, one thing that's kind of funny, on the one can that's tipped over there, somehow the liquid is black and red it's the can is very reflective of the contents looks like he's using this as a trash can gross the guy next to me is a total neat freak it's barf city yeah so they're just r really at opposition there you don't have any money 
What about the floppy I stole? Is that worth anything? Potential! You have the tools to make your boss look great. The management. I I am the boss in my own mind. Ooh. Are we kind of getting like weird windows into Animus and Jotunheim? Am I crazy or is there two soundtracks playing at once right now? Two songs. Oh, but it only... It, it totally gets louder the further along there I go. Okay, let me just in investigate these windows here. A calming autumn world. A soft wind blows through the trees. And then this one. Glacial peaks stand defiant under a shifting sky. Ooh, is the sky shifting because of the way that Jotunheim changes between Niflheim and Muspelheim, depending on, like, your curiosity in the game? I guess right now I must have things tipped towards the, the ice version, which I think is Niflheim. But I think that totally has to be, like, the two other worlds in the game, the two following chapters. Oh, nice! I, I guess we were just hearing this guy blasting his beats in the gym here. You found a sweaty gym sock. Exercise! Locker is locked. Guess it takes its job seriously. There's an old red combination lock on it. Someone's carved a C into the knob. It won't open. Hmm. It's full of hundreds of pairs of round glasses. They don't even have lenses. It's just for looking smart. I'm curious about that one. I'm curious if the C is going to become relevant in some way. I'll try and keep that in mind. There's a smooth metallic object in here. It's the back of the locker. <laughs> uh, who would have guessed? It's, a, it's smashed closed and can't be opened. It looks like it took hundreds of tiny punches. Someone's roid raging out in the gym here, perhaps. Can't interact with the bench at all or the rack. Maybe the punching bag? Did someone get confused and punch the locker instead of the bag? Someone moved it on them? Either one of the two, I'm not sure which, and then they just couldn't deal with that. Is this guy's eyeball in his mouth? Yes, it appears so, actually. I'm not trying to get fit. I just don't have to work if I'm in here. Oh, that's nice that they have, like, scheduled exercise allotments for the employees. Uh, maybe, maybe I, maybe I join you? Maybe I get on there myself? Lose a, lose a, a few fractions of a pound? <laughs> I don't intend to work very hard either. Seems like a good reason to skip out on work. Well, there was not a lot to gain from this room, was there? Maybe something, maybe there's like clues in some way. I also just thought I should talk to this guy a second time, even though that seems to be quite fruitless. I don't appear to have a desk. Is there another? Oh, there's m much more to this. There's the management section is quite large still. Notice all lost items will be held in the cafe until claimed or incinerated. How long until you incinerate them? Oh. Okay, so is this, without n interacting with them, I'm just throwing out guesses here, is this a look back at chapter one, and this is like literally possibly the first ever tease of chapter five? We've, we've had like no indication of what that chapter is. We know quite well from the demo what the other chapters are going to look like, uh, but I don't think, think we've seen anything of five before. This could give us a hint. A hauntingly beautiful forest in the dead of night. The moon has a chunk taken out of it. Well, could just be waning or waxing. <laughs> uh, that a forest, that probably is chapter one, so ooh, is this going to be a glimpse at chapter five? A sickly world of sand and cactus under a pale green sky. The wind howls against the glass. Oh man, well I hope we don't turn the world into some dusty, barren desert. Maybe if it's its own unique location, that would be okay, but I really don't want to screw up so badly that it turns into that, you know? Welcome to the water cooler. Chairs have been removed to improve productivity. The management. The water cooler for an office cafe is a brilliant name. I love it. Uh, I'll hit those guys up in a minute. I'm gonna go straight and see if I can order a bevy for myself. It's a menu. But there's a lot of options. Better just read one of them. Cup noodle pizza. Now with more bones. That doesn't seem like uh, the type of way I would want to eat pizza personally. 
Not doing that again. Oh, come on. I want to see what else there is in there. Was it just a randomly generated thing? And once per playthrough, you're going to get like one unique response out of that? Lost and found? I leave lost stuff at the end of the bar. Oh, yeah, this is the spooky guy. Thanks, Whistler. I didn't know his name was Whistler. Maybe I did? I don't remember. My pleasure. Oh, a briefcase? A beautiful handbag. The strap breaks when you lift it. Interesting, this, the strap on it looked yellow. I didn't look very closely at it, but I feel like it was like the only thing that's not monochrome grays or red. They found something very useful. Where are you? With you? I have been since the incident where I like absorbed it. Nobody said you could talk. Would you rather I not help? You haven't been much help so far. Why would I help someone weaker than myself? Ah! How insulting. I'm not the weak one anymore. Correct. Alright, fine. Show me what you can do. Very well. Close your eyes. I don't really know where you're going with this ancient secret book artifact. What's your plan? Well, that was a weird break, wasn't it? What was that? Something dark and hidden in the back of your mind, gnawing its way forward. I don't think I saw or heard anything. I don't know if I'm not observant enough, I don't have the game turned up loud enough, or like, what the hell just happened? Maybe I wasn't supposed to see something? Maybe you only see something if you play the game in like a different order? I'm very confused by this eyeball book. I would like more information. <laughs> I just gave it a little push. Find more things like this if you want to keep going. Just, okay, find more things from outside of this world, I guess is kind of probably what he means. Because I'm guessing it's from outside this world if it has those other colors. Which reminds me, why are people n not like more shocked and having their tits blown off when they see this guy walking around in a green hoodie? Maybe they have some sort of weird color blindness where they literally just don't see it. You have an urge to stack these already stacked cups. It's time to get some help. <laughs> just a weird obsession. The jams are too strong to turn off. The jellies are pretty tough too. This game really, really likes jam jokes, hey? Going all the way back to the door is jammed in the, in the house. Hey, you're in my personal space. I'm... Well, fine. If you're going to be... Oh, happy about it. Stay out of my personal space. Keep away from my personal space. Personal space. Personal space. Personal space. <laughs> He's spiraling. I think I'll leave him alone. I didn't mean to put such a panic in him. Hey, stay away from my coffees. I was wondering if he was going to end up going through, like, literally the same set of dialogue, but guarding coffees rather than personal space. Tower Corp is out to get me. But I feel all right. That's... I'm happy for you? I get up and have a cup of coffee. On my way to work, I have a cup of coffee. When I get to work, I have a cup of coffee. I live here. Wait, so is he just always... Just always coffee? It just never ends? He seems pretty well adjusted. <laughs> I, I'll agree with that. Hey, it's the new manager. What a green bean. Either that's a weird coincidental coincidental nickname, or they did just confirm that these people can see that I'm green. Oh, no, really early in this chapter that came up too, because I remember saying something about like, hey, if I would have never picked up the sweater, which is, is totally an option if people didn't watch the Easter egg video, you can play this game without the sweater and it gives you less health. Uh, he mentioned something about being green too, and he probably would have said something about being a striped bean or something if I if I didn't have the sweater on right now. That's kind of messed up. Want to fight about it? Yeah. Good. I'm busy with my morning routine anyway. What's your routine? Eating eggs. Never skip egg day. <sighs> <laughs> I love it. But what is with small indie RPG games and eggs? Seems to be a weird recurring thing. Just self-referential about Easter eggs? I couldn't tell ya. Eggs finished. It's time to get ripped. Oh, I guess maybe I should head back to the gym then and see what that guy gets up to. 
That little dude is intense. Like a fire at the circus. It is it is inside of tents. Is that the it's intense? I feel like that's what he was going for there. I don't know what it's specifically being a fire has to do with anything though. I feel like you could have said anything at a circus and the intense joke would make sense. I don't know. I'm either reading into it too much or not enough. Look at him go, really pumping those guns. Good work, buddy. Those eggs are doing you well. Here to watch me get ripped. Oh, I, I, uh, I mean, uh, here to watch me get ripped. Yeah. Shh, I thought so, nerd. Anyway, someone left some junk on the bench. I threw it down below if you want it. Oh, I see where you're looking. Oh, okay, so we had the handbag, now the necklace. Now I'm getting very suspicious that this is tied to our mom. Going back to, like, she was the drinker back at the house. That's all the beer cans. Presumably beer cans are hers. There was kind of the, a, a line of dialogue that indicated that. And when we first got here and Dad kind of shoved us away, he was saying something about he didn't want her to see us or find us, so probably connecting more to Mom again. The bracelet feels cheap. Like painted plastic. Oh, we're going again into our weird little glimpsed world. Oh, okay, yeah, we're going back to our house, but it has the couch, it has Baron, but we're missing the TV and the box full of empty beer cans and like our, our. There's a lot of other stuff. We're like missing a lot of stuff there. Uh, interesting. Now I'm really. Someone. I guess you guys can rewind. I'll have to look back at it again when I'm editing. There must have been something, something to see the first time it did that fade to black, and I just, I, I wasn't peering hard enough or something. Or it could have been blank, and it could have just been an interesting tease. Hey, nerd, you blanked for a minute there like a weirdo. That's what I do, I guess. It was, I wasn't trying to be weird. I was just, uh, just enjoying a nice zen moment. We got plenty more office buddies to talk to now. More than I thought, even. <laughs> There's a lot of them. Ooh, that guy's got cats. I like it. I, okay, I'm going straight for this guy. Uh, oh, they're hamsters, I guess. A big ham and a little ham. Ham, ham, ham. What about this one that's like peeking out from under the desk? I am doing the sleep. Please to be quiet. Hmm. Kind of reminds me of how like Temmie speaks in, in Undertale. Wow, those uh, fish. Didn't do so hot. I, he appears to favor the hamsters quite a bit. Did something just bolt across the screen? I was kind of looking at the fish there. It seemed like something ran out from under the desk there. Oh, it's full of salamander treats? Yeah, oh shit. Oh, that's awesome. A little salamander totally runs across when you do it. <laughs> Somehow he makes it back to the other side every time. I love it. What a cutie. Surround yourself with friends, especially the fuzzy ones. And maybe like one slimy one, I guess? You might go through a thousand ideas before you hit one you like. Don't stop trying. Hmm, thanks for the little snippet of motivation there. It's completely packed with empty pages. All, all his written on pages are scattered on the floor here. They really put a lot of personality into these different cubicles here. A bunch of papers clutter the desk. Oh, this guy puts them all on the desk, the other guy puts them all on the floor. Clean floor, happy floor. <laughs> There's a book in here. How to clean floors for maroons. I guess, uh, I guess morons is, I don't know. It's like, that's like what Bugs Bunny says. It, what a maroon. I don't remember how Bugs Bunny sounds, but like, is that an insult here? Is it an insult in the way that it normally is? Or is it an insult because it's like, uh, you're not you're not regular red you're a you're a maroon red or something I don't know I don't know interesting there's ways to interpret it that probably are all speculation and not really worth thinking too hard on every page says rip out this page and put it on your desk now your floor looks clean ah it's all just a relativity thing is it quite the quite the game you're playing in there guy Ooh. This guy's got his all stacked. Neat little papers and neat little stacks. And same same on this side. It's full of even more papers. Keep your area tidy and work won't be as stressful. It's pretty good advice. Everyone's kind of implementing different 
orders of, of organization. That guy's like floor, desk, floor and desk. Everything in stacks, everything scattered, everything organized like memento and photos or something. He's even got pictures on the walls. I gave all my work to the guy in 3A. What a maroon. <laughs> Alright, everyone just keeps throwing that around now. This guy, you can't even see what his uh, office number is because he's, he's got his, his pictures all over it. Edges of window of a window frame can be seen in each shot. Wait, wait so he specifically shot everything out of a window? Curious. Oh, the camera goes off without being touched. A small photo slides out the side. Do I get the photo? The camera printer is jammed. It's Raspberry. Who would dare? Again, again with the jammed jokes. They never end, do they? They leave the windows open from time to time, just enough to reach through and feel the breeze. Oh, so this guy just has a fascination with the windows into the other worlds there. It's full of unused film and flash bulbs. Cool, I wish I could spend more time rifling through his pictures to see what he's captured. Hmm, I can't actually interact with anything there. It's full of unfinished stories. Tell him what the guy in 4B said. Uh, no? Oh, better to let lazy shades lie. Wait, what? That doesn't sound like a real phrase. Yeah, this is the guy who got all his work dumped on him. Oh, I permanently made that decision. I was going to go back and rat him out. Thought it would be kind of funny. Thought it would be funny to squeal, but... Uh, is that snitch? Snitch is probably the word I want. Yeah, I guess I just leave that one alone then. Hope you enjoy having lots of work. The other guy seems to enjoy not having any, so... Oh, Joe! How's it going, bud? The screen is covered in sensitive stuff. That's the sensitive stuff. Top clearance only. Uh, care to tell me more? There's a pair of sunglasses in here. Hey, bring those over to me at the pool. I need them for... work. There's a pool around here? I thought I was going to put the sunglasses on. I thought it would be real cool. Alright, off he goes. Hey, he does come back when I do, though. Uh, I guess I just carry on over to the right, though, because chances are this is where this so-called pool is lying in wait. Hang in there. You're contractually obligated to keep going. The management. Hey, do you know what? There was a hang in there poster in the demo in Animus. So it's kind of interesting to see, like, a different interpretation of the old classic hang in there here. Alright, now we're getting totally off the rails, because now I don't know what the shit's going on. <laughs> we had we had four different windows to cover the four additional chapters. Maybe that maybe this throws a wrench in the my my thought process, my theorizing there, but we'll see what, what it is. Rippling energy in an endless sea. Forms seem to coalesce and dissipate at random. No idea. Oh, 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 are these just weirdly representations of Glowbringer and, and, and Darksider? Blistering sands bake under the oppressive rays of this world's three stationary suns. Alright, I have no idea what that has to do with anything, but I do, this immediately makes me think of when you do the Darksider route, and you are standing outside of your house in the first chapter, you can see a weird lava, la lava lamp-like thing like that coming out of your dad's room. That's all I have to go off of there. That's the only thing I can think of. Well, I can tell you right now, I'm, I do not want to get in that pool. It's a Tower Court brand umbrella table. There's a little tag on it. Keep away from raccoons. Oh! Okay, that one took me a minute. Isn't... Because I think in uh, Resident Evil, there's Umbrella Corp in Raccoon City? I think... I haven't really played much Resident Evil, but I'm pretty sure that's like a thing from maybe throughout the series, or maybe just only like one of the first games. The bench looks extra comfy. You could take a nap if you weren't on the case. Ah, so busy. Always so busy. Oh, hey, hey, you found them. Yeah, here you go. Oh, look at that. Flinging in there, deal with it style. Cool. Good work, intern. Time for your next job. Not this again. You sound like Oscar. O Oscar? I don't know, I still haven't committed that one way or the other on that one, have I? Neat. Here's a dollar. 
Get me a coffee. Seriously? Seriously. Get Joe his coffee? Uh, Joe hasn't really been that helpful yet, but he, he feels like he's on my side. I will get him the coffee. It's funny to get Joe coffee because Joe means coffee, but all right, fine. I can do that. Good. Catch you later. It's the most massively useful thing in the universe. Shame someone left it in here. A, a towel? Is that just like some sort of weird remote reference to Towelie the Towel? Hey, you heard any good rumors? Uh, yeah. I heard about a guy who asks too many questions. <laughs> Been having a few tablespoons of that smarmalade have smar smarmalade? <laughs> Happy lore? Oh, yeah? What's his name? I gotta know the details. You tell me. I feel like he took the hint. Come back when you have some juicier rumors. Hmm, I wonder if I actually can discover something to share with them. Can't seem to get their attention. What if I just spam the button a bunch? Hmm, what could I possibly do to, like, earn the attention of a weird bubbling pool mass? Um, next time, then. We'll <laughs> work on that. See if we can figure out a way to get that guy's attention for now. I guess we'll just go on our little coffee errand. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you again soon.